Good afternoon, this is a short screencast to explain how to use a new feature in Google Spreadsheets. Um, so in my last screencast I talked a little bit about the list view and the list view is incredibly good for creating a filtered view of a sheet um, and this is an independent filter view so it's just a filter view that you can see meanwhile all the other people collaborating with your sheet don't see the same view so that has the advantage over using a filter in spreadsheet view that you can have your own view, you can also get a URL for that view that you can share with other people and so on. Now that's all very well other than in the latest iteration of Google Sheets uh, that's now disappeared. So here I'm looking at an old spreadsheet, I can go to the view menu and select list and I can go then into list view. The problem comes that if I, try, if I create a new spreadsheet, uh, so new Google Sheet, okay new Google Sheet, there we go. Um, the interface has changed a little bit and you'll notice this time there's now no entry in here for list view. So on the old sheet, view list, I could do that. On the new sheet, list view is not there. Um, however, Google has come up with uh, a new function that actually does uh, a similar thing. So I thought we'd take a look at that. It's not in the view column anymore, but if you go across to data, and go to filter views, you can create a new filter view. Now this is kind of done exactly the same thing. This is again a user specific view. It's not a, um, uh, a generalized view that would be um, uh, the default view that everyone would see coming to the sheet. But what's different about filter views from using list view is that with filter views you can create a filter view and then other people can look at it if they want. So um, it gets shared as part of the document and people can switch between different field views. It's also read-write, but let's have a look at it. So here I've just uh, got a message. You've just created your first filter view. I can give it a name, uh, which I do by going to data, filter views, uh, filter view options, rename. I'll call this my first filter. I can filter columns using this glyph here, which is very similar to the uh, traditional filter um, uh, filter option in Google Sheets is that rather unlike list view which took you into a different view and now I can, I've got this filter view of the sheet. Now if anyone else comes to my sheet they'll see the normal view by default they won't see this filter view and what's more within this view I can actually change items. One of the problems with the old mechanism was that if I went into list view and I did a filter by, let's do it by the same thing, so that's ID. I've only got here a read-only view of the sheet, so there's nothing I can do to actually change those cells. So the new function is better, um, but it does require a little bit more getting to. So this is my first filter. I can set up uh, a group of these, so I can create a new filter view. Creating a new filter view relaxes the sheet so I can see all the data. Um, I can rename that filter view in exactly the same way I did before. So filter views, filter view options, rename. Um, I'll call this one my second filter and this time I'm going to filter by um, status I'll only do the ones that are live okay so now I've got two filter views I can switch between those filter views by going to the filter views menu and selecting either my first filter or my second filter or if I want to go back to seeing the sheet in its vanilla form, I can select none and it just gives me the normal view of the sheet. I hope that's useful. Um, filters are a fantastic function, especially as sheets get really, really big. And as um, the contents of my last screencast has now disappeared from Google Spreadsheets, uh, I thought it was helpful to talk a little bit about the alternative.